heck's going on here, man? Got a duck fight going down. They're under. They went under. Oh, got a fish. They're fighting over a fish. Or wait, no. What are they doing? They're just fighting in general. Crazy. There we go. Hello and welcome. What's up everybody? Thank you for clicking on the video. Sit down, buckle up. We're in for a long one today. Taking you guys fishing with me as per usual. And a lot of stuff happened in this one. You're going to see some crazy activity. A couple ducks trying to kill each other. Lots of trials and tribulations out there on the water. Got snagged a bunch of times. Worst backlash of my life that I had to sit out there on the boat and try to pick out to save the fluorocarbon. Also, look at what I got. Look at that guy right there. Ooh, sub the channel right now if you're interested in seeing me throw this thing. Yeah, like I said, it's gonna be a long video, a lot of stuff going on, so I'm not gonna take up too much time here, but we're gonna rip off onto Beetlejuice right now, go see if we can catch some fish, and then I'll meet you guys back here, wrap this bad boy up in the garage. Let's go. <laughs> start out here today and we're snagged already gone through uh, two batteries and had to delete everything off the memory cards because we, nothing happened and then first cast here after I kick these on we get snagged rough morning that's not gonna stop us from trying to go get on a few we might have to burn some gas to find them but I'm willing to uh, Make the runs if we can get them to eat. That's all I care about. Let's go. Kind of just smack me one here, throwing the swim jig. Oh, right here by the boat, one just hit it. All right, we found them. There they are, dudes, because right here by the boat, one just came up and tried to smoke it. I wasn't even ready, dude. No hook set. I was just like, what is that? Oh, okay. We found a hungry one. Let's see if we can uh, find one of his hungry friends. I had a couple a couple pops on the uh, the dogma top water earlier. It seemed like they might have been just swiping at it. That was the first hard bite I've had all day right there, and he came up and hit it right here by the boat. Let's go. Where y'all at? Come get this. Devon smoke. Yeah, that one tugged on it, dude. That one came up and tugged on it. I mean, dang. Three bites, no fish. Come on. Let me get one in the boat. I'll be happy. Got a duck fight going down. They're under. They went under. Oh, got a fish. They're fighting over a fish. Or, wait, no. What are they doing? They're just fighting in general. Crazy. There we go. Got one, dude. On the drop, dude. I was watching the I was watching the freaking ducks, and this dude came up and smoked the swim jig when I wasn't even reeling. It was on the fall when he ate it, or on the bottom, one or the other. But there's the first fish on the day. Oh, it's two male ducks, and he's trying to kill that other male duck, dude. I guess we're trying to get on his lady. I don't know if you guys can see that over there, but these ducks are just... He's trying to drown that other duck. Well, you better just get out of there. That's crazy. Two male ducks fighting. <laughs> Anyways, there's a fish. First one on the day. Fourth bite I've had. Finally got one in the boat. It's a decent dude. Swim jig smoker, he hit it down there in those trees, man. Nice. Six cents divine swim jig. He ate the trailer off the back of it too. That divine smoke. Yeah, I stopped reeling and I felt the tick when I wasn't doing anything. Got distracted by the ducks, felt the tick, and was like, oh, that's what caught my attention back to the back to the bait. I felt a little knock and was like, I better set the hook here. Hook set on, fish on. Where's my dang Kotex? That divine smoke, baby, puts one in the boat. Nice. Hopefully he's got homies. A little 3 8 ounce pro green divine swim jig from the six. But definitely a slower bite down there. Almost sitting still when he ate it. A little bit of stupor glue on there. Keep that trailer locked in. Let's see if we can find us another one of those, buddy. Come on, buddy. 
I mean, come on, buddy. Hit it on the drop or on the bottom, one or the other. It might have just been sitting on the bottom. I honestly don't know. I was so distracted by those ducks. But I know for sure I wasn't reeling it. It was either as it was falling or as it was sitting, he munched it. That tells me I need to slow down, take her easy. Got the jig in a tree. Got the jig out of the tree. There we go. Nice. He smoked it. In the trees. In the trees he smoked it. It's a fighter too. Come on, buddy. Decent fish. Number two on that Devon smoke. Nice. In the trees. Pretty fish. The black spots on him. Let's get us a nice little release shot on this dude. Found some eating. That's what I'm talking about. That's two. Swim jig in the trees. Just how I like it. Oh, boy. They're down there. Oh, he was on it. Dang, as soon as it hit the water, he was on it. I wasn't ready. A lot of niblets today, man. A lot of little niblets. Short strikers, swipers, puffers that don't inhale, AKA Bill Clinton. We're looking for those smokers, those hard smokers. You guys know this spot. This is where we caught that monstro, nine pounds, eight ounces, PV monstro on the same bait I'm throwing right now. It'd be nice to hook into another one of those. If you guys haven't seen that video, go check it out. But this is the infamous waterfall where I caught my personal best largemouth bass, nine pounds, eight ounces, on the same bait that I'm throwing right now. It's in bluegill right here. Checking out the boat. Coming to say what's up. Are we all in the tree now? Let's go. Let's go, Bobby. There we go. Nice. Later, buddy. Two and a half. Got snagged at first. He hit it when it came out of the cover. Went ahead and released himself back off into the lake there. Yeah, I was snagged. And as soon as it came out, that's when he ate it. Cool. Call it three. He was in the boat. There's a bunch of boats here, dude. Boat pull up right here. Boat right here. Another boat over there. It's like somebody told everybody that there was fish over here or something. the day on that Devon swim jig first cast at this spot dude that yee. that was nice pull up here and get that one on the first cast that's what's up he destroyed my trailer All right, guys, real quick, a little bit more about this bait. This is my favorite swim jig right here. If I'm gonna throw a swim jig, it's gonna be a Divine swim jig from Six Sense Fishing. You guys can get these, sixcensefishing.com. Use my discount code JR10 for the win. Get 10% off your entire order. This is the pro green color and 3 8 ounce, but they make so many different awesome colors. Heaters only from the six. Snag yourself some, smash yourself some fish. This right here, the best swim jig on the market. 
in my humble opinion. Time to retie. Got my fluoro a little rashed up there on that catch, so I'm gonna cut this off, retie, see if we can get us another one. Up in the trees, man, on the swim jig. That's where we're getting them today. It's probably a good time to tell you guys about these scissors as well. The six also offers tools. They got scissors, jugular pliers, shop around. Also, you might've noticed I'm wearing a six cents hat and a six cents shirt, so their apparel, some of the nicest shirts, hoodies, hooded long sleeve fishing shirts, shorts all kinds of awesome apparel from the 6.2 so if you guys are looking for some new clothes check that out as well jr10 for the win 10 percent off everything on the website i've been on that keto lifestyle and i've lost a lot of weight so i've been ordering new clothes getting them from the six and i love their shirts man all my old fat kid clothes don't fit anymore if anybody needs some 2xls and some xls let me know i'm on those larges and those mediums now all right first cast over here in the trees Savon smoke got it done let's get us another one I was gonna hit this pocket but now I'm wondering if I shouldn't check out this windblown side right here first see if they might be sitting up in these trees could be could be we can double back and hit it double back and hit it if they're not over here I want to check I want to check check a Rooney check check one two on the mic speaking of check on the mic new GoPros new audio got a new audio setup new camera setup So yeah, new cameras. I think things are gonna be a little bit better from here on out, man. Thank you guys for sticking with me. Four fish on the day. Let's go. We need more. Four is more, but we need more. We need Johnny Five to come alive out here. We're all kinds of discombobulated. Had the line in the trolling motor there for a second. I'm glad I didn't hit the gas. That would have chopped me up. There we go. Check that fluoro again. Good to go. All right, back to fishing. Just keep getting snagged if I could keep from getting snagged. Man, I got something about me, guys. I like to throw into the danger zone, you know, highway to the danger zone, top gun. I feel the need, the need for trees. And I will be getting snagged sometimes, you know, because I'll be thrown up into that danger zone. Highway to the danger zone. So that's just the way it is, man. I'll be getting snagged and taking risks with my sh stuff. I'm trying to catch fish, dude, you know? That's where the fish are. They're up in the junk. That's just the deal. We get snagged a lot. If you're one of those fishermen that never backlashes and never gets snagged, I'm jealous of you. That ain't me. Far from perfect. But I'm willing to get into the I'm willing to get into the junk and take the risks in order to catch the fish. And that's just what it is. That's just what it is. Okay? Let's get us another one. Let's get us another one. They may not be this way. They may be back the other way. Skiddy, skiddy, doot. Skibbity bebop, a squee bop, a scooby doo. Hey, uh, when I can start to get a lock on a pattern, that's when I really start getting energized. You know, I'll start singing and talking to you guys a little bit more. I come out here for the first couple hours and hardly get any bites. And it's like, dang, dude, are we even going to be able to make a video out of this trash? But then once I get a few in the boat, start figuring out the pieces to the puzzle, that's when I start getting energized. There's so many trees here, just complete forest underwater we're just swimming through it getting snagged chopping some down with the old tracks come on bobby where's the fish are you up there hello anybody home there we go oh yep there we go somebody was home up there shallow in the trees johnny five is alive oh you guys almost took that one to the face There he is. Number five, baby. Way up there shallow. I was thinking in my head, man, it would be nice to pull one right here shallow this close to the boat and then whack in the trees. Nice. Let's let him go before his boat comes. Yeet. All right. Yeah, he was up in there. So cool, man. When you can catch him that close to the boat, just like right here. You know, they're practically right in front of you and they just still eat, dude. The tongs, man. Where's your buddy? Release my buddy. See, this is where that fish was sitting, right here on this little brush pile. Oh, no. You can't help yourself from five. Come on, man. Give me my swim jig back. Divine swim jig smoke. They're up there in that buck brush. Shitting up there in that buck brush. Scooby doo, scooby bop, scooby bop, scooby doo. Johnny Five is alive. Let's go. Heaters only. Team six. Swim jigging on the edge. Fishing on a ledge. You can't help yourself from five. 
Caught him sitting up there in that buck brush. Oh, there's one. Oh, dude. I missed him. He hit it twice, too. Do -do -do -do. I wasn't ready. I wound up, and he, uh, he let go. There was a good little bite, man. He gave me a little knock. Where you at? Come on. Eat it, Bobby. Consistent bites for the win. They over here, dude. That was a nice little bite, too. He knocked it. I just missed him. Bluegill smoke. Top water poppers. They're sitting there popping. Popping and locking. Popcorn. Snagged again, man. Oh, there's a fish. What kind of fish is that, dude? That was a big fish. Hmm. She eated whatever she was. Shouldn't up there in that buck, bro. You can see the carp right there. Right there. Coming towards the boat. Rolling with the boat. Oh. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But that's a fatty carp down there munching on the bottom as they do. Not what we're after. Haven't been doing too well up in the very backs of pockets here the last couple days on the water, but I also don't want to skip it just in case there's a fatty sitting off in here. That could be a rogue fat ski sitting back off in here. So I'm going to hit it. I'm going to take the time to cover this. It's going to be on the test, so we got to cover it. Get good grades on my report card getting super shallow over here boys are running out of water oh let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and get the the lower unit off the ground back there she's kicking up dust i was like what the heck is going on i didn't realize it was that shallow she's bumping and grinding back there a little bit it's okay yamaha that v max will handle it no issue yamaha power hpdi two stroke smoke mixing gas and catching bass you know the deal or mixing gas and getting snagged one or the other the extreme shallows here let's get out of this it's too it's too low it's mud come on come out of that tree bobby there we go all right i want to i'm ready to catch another fish and stop catching freaking trees and dirt in the ground with my lower unit come on it's gonna be a nice one waiting for us somewhere it's ready to eat this divine smoke let's go There we go. Smoked it. In the trees. It's number six in the mix, and he's oh, get back up here. My boat flipping skills are like way off. I don't know what's going on today, but I don't know. I cannot uh seem to get the fish on deck first try. It's taking me a couple swings. That's what's up. Devon swim jig smoke. The best swim jig on the market. Alright. Let's let him go get us another one. Let her do it. Number six in the mix. Four is more. Johnny Five came alive. Now we got six in the mix. Can we get that seventh heaven up in this beast? Come on. Come on. I mean, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. I mean, come on, buddy. <laughs> Taking the boat back up shallow. Let's go ahead and raise that, raise that motor up a little bit back there just in case we get up into some trash. Beep, 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 beep. Come on, Bobby. Get me out of there, dudes. That's yeah, getting shallow. It's getting shallow quick. Come on. Come on, buddy. I'm still going to fire one off into there. Just don't, don't think I won't. I'm still going to go into the danger zone, even if I get this unsnagged. I'm firing right up in there, dudes. Just had a bite up there, man. Come on, buddy. A little nibbler. Might have been a bluegill. Kind of felt like a machine gun. Bluegill would feel like a machine gun. And then brr, brr, they machine gun it. Hit it so fast. Just shake it and then let go. Grabbing the tail. With the paddle tail firing up in there and pulling them out of that buck brush got six in the mix we're looking for number seven let's keep rolling let's keep rolling man I'm glad we stopped into this pocket man actually get our numbers up those were rookie numbers before we got here we had to get those numbers up chop you up She chopping, she chopping, she chopping, Freaking West Coast choppers out here, dude. They call that the old spray and pray. Just uh, hoping you get out. <sighs> All right, back to fishing. Enough jack a lacking around in the mud. Let's go, Bobby. Pull us another one of these swim jig eaters out of these trees. Let's go. 
You know the deal. JR10 for the win. Heaters only. SixCentsFishing.com. Support me. Support the channel. Support the six. Help me grow this beast. I'm looking to travel, fish other bodies of water, meet up with other fishing YouTubers, do big things, man. But I can't do it without you guys. Ooh, I just had a just had a yeet right there. But I can't do it without your guys' support. And your support means the absolute world to me. Thank you so much to all of you people who have used the code and shown some love with that JR10 for the win. JR10 strikes again. You know the deal. You follow me on Instagram. You see all the shout outs, all the love, all the screenshots. And uh, yeah, the support has been amazing. You guys are awesome. We don't have the, the biggest following here, you know. Just running up on 10,000 subscribers. Smaller YouTube channel. Quality over quantity. I feel like the people that we do have on board, the support is relentless, unwavering, nothing but love, positivity. So, man, I appreciate you all. Thank you so much. If I don't say it enough, I don't say it enough. So I'm saying it now, man. Thank you. And if you do happen to use my code, if you're able to, Send me a little DM on Instagram with the order confirmation that you will receive in your email from Sixth Sense, and I will give you guys a shout out on the story. And I'm always looking for fun new ways to give back by doing giveaways. Is that a fish, dude? Yes, it's a tree. I thought it was a nice fish. It's a log. Log jamming. Shoot. I thought for a second that we hooked into a decent one. Wrong species. All right. Uh, yeah. Send me a DM with that order confirmation. Just include uh, the order number and the spot where it says that you use the JR10 code. And I'll give you guys a shout out on my story. And I'm always looking for fun, new, innovative, interesting, and interactive ways to give back to the people who support me by using that code. I'm pulling heaters out of my own tackle arsenal and mailing them out to people for free all the time constantly packing up boxes and envelopes of free baits and trying to hook as many people up as I possibly can. So if you're interested in getting in on some of that, hop on over there to Instagram, send me those DMs, those screenshots, confirmation, order number, JR10 for the win. And you could, uh, you may very well just get yourself a free heater or two from your boy. One of my favorite things to do, one of the best things to do, something that I will always strive to do is give back to as many people as possible who have chosen to support me, especially during these difficult times, man. It means the absolute world. Thank you guys so much. Said it again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can't say it enough. JR10 for the win, sixcentsfishing.com. Heaters only, best hard baits in the game, best color schemes in the game. I need a new trailer. But you guys already know the deal. If you're watching this, chances are you're familiar with Six Sense Fishing. That's my Six Sense fam over there. They support us and they support what we do over here on the channel. Without them, we could not do half the things we do. So much love to the Six. And I encourage you guys to support an awesome Texas fishing company doing some of the most innovative and amazing stuff in the game. One thing that I've talked about in the past and I'll talk about again right now is that little bad boy right there, the screw lock. Screw lock system on the Devon Swim Jigs is money. It'll help you save trailers, preserve your paddle tails, save money. Cause you're not having to go through as many trailers, man. You just screw that bad boy on all the way down to the bottom. And she's on there, screwed in, cocked, locked, and ready to rock. Let's go, I need another fish. And we're in a tree. Story of my life, dude. Story of my freaking life. There we go. She's out now. Come on, Bobby. That ain't cool. We're making too much noise. I'm trying to pull another fish out of this buck brush. It's not going to work if we're scaring them away. Highway to danger zone. Gonna take you right into danger Nice Skeeter, bro. I like that black and white Oreo action, dude. Nice. That four stroke 250 on there screaming. Super nice boat. One of these days, guys, give me time. I love old Beetlejuice, but I have my eyes on the prize. Big dreams. Shoot for the moon. You might miss and hit the stars. One day, I will have me a brand new Skeeter. All I know is grind and patience. It'll happen. It'll happen one day, man. We'll get there. We'll get there. Slow and steady wins the race. Chess, not checkers. Gotta be patient. Especially when you're a fisherman. 
If you don't have extreme patience, you're never gonna do good on the water. For every fish you catch, you done made a thousand casts where you didn't catch one, so yeah. That's just the way it is. Oh yeah. And I love every minute of it. Loving every minute of it. All I need is a couple in the boat, man. That'll get me juiced up, energized up, ready to crack some in the head. Let's go. What's going on here? Got a fish and I'm in a tree? Yeah. Come on. Come on, Bobby. The fish is now in the tree. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, is he gonna get off? Oh, I don't get off. We gotta go get him. We got to go get this fish out of the tree, dudes. Just a little yeeter, but I got all combobulated into this tree. Don't worry, buddy. I got your back. I'm gonna save you out of the tree. All right, number seven, seventh heaven. There he is, up there in that buck brush. Divine swim jig smoke, smoke show. All right, let's let him go. Just give me that and then give me this. I'm stoked to get home and edit this video for you guys. Yeah, I'm stoked to get home and work on this one, man. New cameras, things are gonna be looking crispy. Rice Krispies, man. It's a skadoosh party right over here. If you wanna get down on the swim jig, why don't you jump on in? It's a skadoosh party right over here. Heaters only, baby, baby. You know I really wanna catch you. Baby. Forgot about that one. That's gonna be stuck in my head for the rest of the day now. Oh my Jeebus Rice, what just happened, dude? That was not cool. I don't know what I'm doing apparently. That's that's gonna be bad. That's all bad. Yeah, that is all bad. Dang, dude, I just backlashed the skadoosh out of my reel. I felt it happen too. Like, I don't know, I think I touched the line. The line got caught on my finger. It was not the move, dude. This is not the move right now. I do not think I'm gonna be able to get this out, guys. It is all kinds of tangled. I do not wanna cut that out either. I'm gonna work on this for a minute. Not good. This is not good. This is not good. I think this is gonna be a cutter on out type of situation right here, man, before I waste too much time on this. Dang it, Bobby. I'm normally pretty good at picking out backlashes, but this is just an absolute mess. And I'm either snagged or I have a fish, one or the other. <laughs> Probably snagged. No, it feels like it's... Yeah, it's snagged. Nope. I think I'm snagged and I have a fish or something. I feel something jerking on the line, dude. Yeah, there's a fish on here. Oh my gosh. Definitely a fish on. Dude. I thought I was in a tree, but there's a fish on here. We gotta go back for him. Reeling over the backlash, no choice. It feels like a nice one. He's jerking, dude, come on. Where is he? What tree is he in? He's in a tree somewhere. Dude, he's jerking. He came off. Oh, he broke me off. Dang. Fish straight up broke me off. That was a donkey. Dang. He was jerking on it, dude. After he, he was like coming out of the tree, down there on the bottom. Dang it. Brutal. Brutal, dude. He ate it when it was just sitting there or just dragging with the boat. We just lost a monstro. We just lost this a monstro. He broke it off in the tree somehow. So crazy. I got a freaking ah. Uh, that was a nice fish, dude. That was a nice fish. I hate that. I hate those. I hate those ones that get away from you when they're nice. I could stand losing a, a small one or two, but when a fatty breaks off like that, dude, dang. 
But now I can work on this backlash for a minute and refocus. This is not looking good. Sunline Assassin Fluoro is not cheap, dude. I want to salvage this if I can, possibly. It's also a waste of time, though, when the fish are biting. So you got to make the call at some point. Dang, dude, that fish was jerking on it, and it was in a tree. Broke me off. Golly, man. I could feel him just yanking on the rod all of a sudden, like, let go. And then he just... Chop. hi -ya, karate chop. It will be a miracle if I get this backlash out, but I'm working on it. I'm working on it, dudes. Batteries might die in the camera before I get this out, but I'm going to keep at it, see if I can save this fluorocarbon, man. I can't, I can't afford to be burning through a bunch of fluoro. Stuff is not cheap. So the trick a lot of times is just not pull it tight, leave it loose, and finagle with it until finally, hopefully, something breaks loose. I'm getting it out little by little. Extremely frustrating though to sit out here and do this on the water when you could be fishing. I will be honest about that. This this will get you this will get me a little red when I'm out here wasting time doing this when I know the fish are eating. Oh come on man, come on, just come out for me, baby. Let's go. Break loose. I've picked out a lot of it, honestly. It's just not uh not all the way. Ah! Ah! Oh, we're, gonna, we're getting there now. We're getting there. Do you see it roll? It started rolling. Never give up. Glimmers of hope. Let's go. I might be getting close, guys. Like I said, the trick is to just keep playing with it and don't, don't ever pull it too tight. You know, keep it loose. Keep those loops loose in the reel and hopefully something will break loose before you have to cut it. I don't picked out some extreme backlashes in my day. This one's pretty extreme, but I feel like there's hope here. Look at that. Look at that. What did I tell you? Oh no, there we go. We're back. <laughs> Dang, I thought it was out. Got a lot of it out though. Got a lot of it out. I picked through a lot of that, man. Come on. We're going to get this. We're going to get this. Let's go. Don't ever give up, dude. Never lose hope. Look at that. Look at that, dude. She's coming. Save my fluoro. Yes. That was one of the gnarliest backlashes I've ever had, and I was able to pick it out, dude. Just sat here, persistence, patience, don't pull the backlash tight, keep the loops loose, and keep playing with it. And then last but not least, don't let your stuff get tangled up on the deck of the boat to where you have to cut it out anyway after you spend all that time picking your backlash out. We did all right, dude, we did all right. I'm proud of myself for picking out that backlash and sticking with that. That's that one right there. That's the one we caught the 9.8 on. Which one do I wanna go with, dude? I think I might have another one of the same pro green color somewhere. I usually keep some extra heaters on board. This is uh, the bag that last month's Super 6 sack came in. You can save money on that too with my code JR10SUPER6 if you want to sign up for the best bait subscription service in the game. And look at that. There's another pro green inside of there. I'm going to grab that out and tie him on. Get rigged back up with the same thing. I've been busting them on all day. Hopefully go back over there and hook into another monstro. It's all part of the game. I've lost some nice fish in my day, dude. It's all part of the game. You can't let it, can't let it ruin your day. You gotta just keep working, keep grinding. There's another one down there for us. We're just drifting along here, picking out backlashes, floating through the trees with the breeze, but I'm getting rigged back up and I'm getting back after it, dude. In the words of Mark Cuban, we ain't done yet. Let's go. That was a good 15 minutes of picking out one of the gnarliest backlashes that I've ever picked out in my life but i feel good about it preserved a lot of fluoro there we're gonna be able to keep fishing lost the nice one though i mean that fish was just horking on the rod dude do, do, do. i could feel it just jerking jerking and jerking around the tree but we were still in the tree she was in the tree whatever <sighs> all right i'm gonna shut up about it but that was a little bit of a heartbreaker let's get back over here to where she was see if she got friends we ain't done yet ultrex true north <laughs> Good to go. Locked in. Got the heading set. Constant power on. The Ultrex just holds the GPS heading and drives you there. You don't have to do anything. There we go. Nice. Smoked it. On the long cast, too. A little bit nicer fish. A chunk. Boom. Doubled back, made it happen. 
That one's fat and happy. He's been eating. Decent fish right there, man. Nice chunk. Just awesome, man. Later, dude. Belly flop. I want more of that. Made a long bomber cast over here. And he smoked it. Quad. Off he goes. I was just thinking about how I hadn't caught a guad yet today, and that that was a little weird. We got a look at one right there. And there was where I chose to end the day. This ended up being a pretty long video, so I hope you guys got your fill of the action. Like I said before we left, please consider subscribing to the channel if you did enjoy yourself. We're trying to hit that 10,000 subscriber mark. It would mean a lot to me if you guys would jump on board, join the royalty, and help us grow this beast to 10,000. New cameras out there on the boat today. Hopefully things look a little bit better in this video. That will be the deal going forward. You guys will see uh, footage from the new GoPros from here on out. So, yep, that was awesome, man. Had a good time out there fishing with you guys today. But like I said, this one's long enough so we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up hope everybody out there is staying safe sane and healthy i appreciate you watching and i'll see you guys on the next one